Oh my God, we have found the world's tiniest squire. We have found a baby squire, are you kidding me? That's not a baby squire, that's a squire for ants. Is this squire even gonna be able to like carry a sword? Are you kidding me right now? Ooh, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. My name is Crow, and today we have a brand new story called Larry's Stolen Potions by Godzilla One. Larry went to town to sell some potions, but instead he was attacked and robbed by his evil cousin, Gangster Larry who uses bombs and his gang of outlaws. So here we have lovely Larry, innocent, beautiful Larry, who is sadly in blue, which means he has to die for us to continue the story. And facing Larry is a mob of people, including someone who we are calling Gangster Larry. And Gangster Larry is this guy in the back with the bombs, according to our storyteller. So Gangster Larry, not being fond of the real Larry, has decided to round up all of his ruffian friends and they're going to rob the real Larry. Now, Larry, if you were a red unit, I would use my god powers. I would save you, but you're blue. And that means you have to die. I'm sorry, Larry, I want to help you. I want to save you, but this is for the good of the story. I can't tell the story if you live. After waking up, Larry has nothing on him and puts on some hay for clothes and picks up a stick. The town police do not recognize Larry and think he's an enemy spy. So he gets kicked out of town. Guys, Larry has been robbed of everything, including his clothes and his potions. So in order to not be naked, Larry has put on some hay that he found lying on the ground, strapped some belts around him to keep the hay in place, and picked up a lovely stick. This is Larry's only weapon now. And the police think he's a spy. And you know what? I, I don't, I'm not mad at the police because if I looked across and I saw a dude wearing hay with a stick in his hand, I would think that he's a spy too. I would think... At the very least, if not a spy, I would think that he's up to no good because he's so poor he can't even afford clothes. Now, these are the thoughts of the medieval military police and not my thoughts, clearly. I'm sorry, Larry, you're trespassing on medieval property and you need to... Oh, that did not look pretty. As Larry walks through the farmlands to King Philip, he meets some angry farmers who think that Larry wants to steal all of their hay. Luckily, Larry is saved by Bob Ross. Again, how can you blame the farmer? I mean, look, here's Larry. He's wrapped around in hay, and it's not very often you see somebody dressed like that. So you're a bunch of farmers, and you have hay for sale, right? There's your hay over there, and you've cut some, and you're currently farming up your hay, and you see this guy over here just chilling with hay on his body. If I was a farmer, I would think that guy would want to steal my hay as well. But we are in luck, none other than the Bob Ross, pushing his two little friends are ready to protect Larry from the evil farmers. So again, the farmers aren't evil. They're just protecting their crops. This situation is just one big misunderstanding and sadly, I can't do anything about it. So now Larry has to defend himself from the farmers who are defending themselves from Larry. It's just a big misfortunate misunderstanding and it's so embarrassing. But luckily Bob Ross is here and maybe if they use their apples, since there's no blades, since there's no knives, no guns, none of these people are dead. Right? The farmers were just knocked unconscious. Maybe they had an apple thrown under their head. Maybe they got run over by a blunt cart. Maybe they got kicked in the shins. But the farmers are dead because there's no knives. Larry finally arrives at King Philip's castle. But King Philip doesn't want him there and shoots him out of his kingdom. Are you kidding me? What's so wrong? What's wrong with Larry? Larry just chilling here. He's pretty much naked wearing nothing but grass as clothing. He's got a simple stick and King Philip is afraid of Larry with a simple stick? What are you afraid of? You think Larry's gonna give you a splinter or something? And seriously, five ballistas? Five ballistas? This is overkill, King Philip. You do not need to use this much firepower against somebody who's using grass for clothing. King Philip, sometimes I think you're a good guy. Sometimes I think you're a bad guy. Most time I can't figure you out. All I know right now is you are terrified for no reason. King Philip demands his ballistas open fire on the poor, poor, defenseless Larry. And this is, I'm gonna slow this down. This is not gonna look good. This is gonna look really, really bad. There's Larry. Lovely Larry. Ballistas are ready to fire at any moment now with slow mo activated as we wait for the ballista bolts to impact. Oh my god, he didn't die. Well, he may not have died, but he was banished out of the kingdom down to death. Larry flies all the way to Mount Crow, but there he is attacked by Zeus, the raptor, and his armies. Larry must gather his friends to help him. Oh yeah, Zeus was turned into the raptor by the end of that one video. You're right, so there's many the Minotaur and Zeus the raptor. <laughs> is that Zeus or is that just a simple pirate? We'll never know, guys. And 
and his ancient armies are here to defend Mount Crow. Why is Zeus on Mount Crow? Excuse me. This is Mount Crow. This is my mountain. Get out of here, Zeus. So Larry decided to summon a whole bunch of his friends who also had their clothes all stolen by gangster Larry. And none of these people have clothes and they all have sticks and they're just friends of Larry. Larry has an army of similarly just poor people. And in they will go. And if they need help, don't worry, the god Crow, he will be here to help them. Raptor Zeus and many of the Minotaur move in. Things are not looking good for our lovely team of red people. Allow me to offer a little bit of godly assistance. Just like that. Oh, well, the red arrow shot the red people. Those are the red people. Shoot the blue people. I'm trying to save my boys. The red arrow shouldn't be killing them. This is perfectly fine. This is perfectly fine. Minnie, Minnie, stop being a bully. That is rude. Didn't people teach you to share? Same with you, my lovely Cerises. Did nobody teach you guys how to share? And this lovely unit needs to get shot. And this lovely unit needs to get shot. Oh, <laughs> well, Larry survived. That's good. No, wait. Or, or, or was this Larry? Is this one Larry? Is that one Larry? Or is this one Larry? I don't know. After winning the battle, Larry climbs up the mountain and gets to a narrow natural bridge where he's attacked by General John and General Rocky. Crow must save him as he always does. Explain to me why General John and General Rocky are chilling here on a mountaintop. Here we have General John astride his beautiful horse and there is General Rocky leading his foot people into battle. And again, the question is begged, what are they doing here? Are there rare materials, rare minerals on the mountaintop that they'd want to steal for their kingdom? And why is this? Oh, oh my God, we have found the world's tiniest squire. We have found a baby squire, are you kidding me? That's not a baby squire, that's a squire for ants. Is this squire even gonna be able to like carry his sword? Are you kidding me right now? I think we're going to do three... 100 ballista bolts to represent the 300 spartans that held the hot gates in a very tight 30 degree spread and that should decimate the army to the front i'm sorry general john i'm sorry general rocky i'm sorry little tiny ant squire you're my favorite i'm so sorry but the god crow needs to make sure that his buddy larry can make it through the pass oh oh that wasn't even enough i need more than that have another shot oh ho, ho. Slow-mo shot. I'm not sure why I'm doing full speed shot. Oh, it's pretty. And yet some of these units still live. Have another one. Yes. Go, my ballista bolts. Yes. Larry, I'm only doing this because you don't even have clothes. Can we find clothes for you? You're on your own. After crossing the mountain, Larry finds himself in the Dynasty Kingdom where the Monkey King has been overthrown by the Shogun and his army of halflings. Crow must help. Larry. So here's the Monkey King with a handful of samurais and Larry still not wearing clothes. And he's been overthrown by the Shogun with an army of halflings. So the Shogun, to overthrow the dynasty, enlisted the help of midget people. I mean, to me, it looks like he brought the entire Shire with him. And of course, the derpiest hobbit is leading the charge. I may have gone a little bit overboard with the god powers in three, two, one, go. Chain lightning spreads out and wipes out the majority of the hobbit army now do i need to step in i think one more beautiful shot of lightning will be more than enough to complete the decimate pretty much most of the army and now the samurai and the monkey king can destroy that usurper the shogun how dare the shogun show his face here here in this place you tried to usurp in this place you tried to dominate as the monkey king almost threw himself down the pit of death that would have been very awkward hold on the monkey king oh there he is oh. larry you're getting a little bit too close there buddy stay away from the shogun you got a stick and he has a sword as the shogun fights on the rock no the shogun's drowning the shogun's in the water he's going he's alive he's standing on the water here but you know what they say about people in the water they're very susceptible to light i didn't kill him oh then he drowned <laughs> After helping the Monkey King take back his kingdom, the Monkey King tells Larry that Captain Yarmatey might know where Gangster Larry is, but the captain does not want to help Larry on his island. So here we are with Captain Yarmatey, not Captain Kyle, as we learned in the last video. Captain Yarmatey. This is a different captain. This is not Kira's captain. And it looks like our lovely Larry is still not wearing clothes. You could have like picked up a shirt on the way, you know, anywhere. And Larry now has to face all of these pirate units because the captain does not want to tell Larry where Gangster Larry is. So we're just going to come over here and I've got the Captain Blunderbuss ability and we have 300 Blunderbuss bullets and then 
300 blunderbuss bullets. Oh my god, the lag happening already. 300 blunderbuss bullets. Back it up, back it up, back it up. This lag is bad. There are 900 blunderbuss bullets there in three, two, one, go. Unpause. Slow mo. Blunderbuss bullets. It's like it's like a wall of rock as they go and they decimate everything in the path. All those orange flashes are impacts with specific blue units and anything survives this i'll be shocked the captain the pirate captain might have survived it but the problem is the lag won't let me see i'll just look at larry because larry's safe all right larry um the, the blunderbuss shots 900 blunderbuss shots i think it was enough buddy after larry forced the captain to speak he was told he would find gangster larry in the renaissance city larry faced gangster larry who had it on his side his gangster army and general john and general rocky but larry had crow so gangster larry gangster larry my lovely friend they gave you a very strange name calling you gangster larry and you've got general john over here as a cavalier and general rocky who is chillin general rocky where are you ah there's our rocky on this side so we have general rocky's little squad we have general john's squad and then we have the gangster squad in the middle and these guys are against lovely little pretty much naked wearing grass as clothes larry I hope this story ends with Larry getting his pants back. You know, ladies and gentlemen, the power of Crow compels you. As the bone spells move in from every direction, so many that the computer is about to explode, sending the army high into the sky, leaving what I think is Gangster Larry as the only one still alive. Okay, if I just look at Larry, that means these spells will be able to dissipate. And once the lag is done, we will turn around and see what Larry sees. How you doing, Larry? I don't know who lives. Oh, it looks like one jouster in the back is still alive. What if I just try to blow the jouster out the door? Say goodbye, jouster. <laughs> Bye! And now it's one-on-one. -on -one. Gangster Larry versus Larry. Now, Larry is at a disadvantage. All he has is a stick. Gangster Larry is rocking some bombs. So how do we protect? I would love for Larry to get the final blow from Gangster Larry. So what we'll do, maybe to give Larry a fighting chance, I'll hit him with a potion, confusing him, and then hit him with a Cupid arrow, confusing him even further. Maybe this will prevent him from throwing a bomb. Where is he? Where where is he going? He looks a little drunk. He looks a little... Where is he going? Hit him one more time with Cupid's arrow again, just to make sure... Oh, where'd that bomb go? No, don't blow up Larry. Larry's okay. Larry's okay. This is fine. This is fine. Come on, give him the smack. Give him the smack. Yes. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. One more Cupid's arrow just to make sure he stays in love. Smack. Yes. Larry did it. Let's go, boy. With the defeat of his army, gangster Larry decided to one verse one Larry, who now had his potions back. But then from nowhere, Bob Ross arrived and attacked Larry's evil cousin, saving Larry. You know what? I disagree. I don't think we need Bob Ross to come and save Larry. Bob Ross, you have done a phenomenal job. And you, you've you been the nicest man I've ever met. But Larry needs his one-on-one. -on -one. You know what I mean? Larry needs his chance at a one-on-one. -on -one, so please have a nice day. Go off on a journey to adventure unknown. Now, can Larry defeat the Bomb Thor? That's my question. There's a confusion potion. Larry is doing a great job. So far, the Confusion Potion is doing a great job preventing Gangster Larry from getting in. Uh oh, Larry missed two shots. Does God need to step in? Or does Gangster Larry continue to be confused by the potions? Oh, a bit of a high throw. Boom, yes, he's still confused. Gangster Larry doesn't know where he is. He doesn't know who he is. He doesn't know his own name. He doesn't know anything as the potion bombs keep on coming in. Ooh, headshot on Gangster Larry. Who wants to vomit in that bucket right now? Gangsta Larry's not doing so hot, getting bombarded by the potions of our one true Larry. He's now cowering in a corner, trying to escape the bombardment of Larry the potion seller. What a throw. Just a miss. What a throw. Boom, headshot, and Larry is victorious, this time officially in a proper one-on-one -on -one without Crow stepping in.